Hello viewers reporting for newszimbabwe.com I am Makanaka Masenyama. The MDC has cast doubt over the genuineness of the August 1 violence report with party spokesperson Jacob Mafume saying Zanu PF could not be trusted as it is known for tampering with public documents. In its report, the Halema Moshante led commission blamed the main opposition for fueling tensions ahead of and on the very day hordes of party supporters invaded the streets in central Harare to protest what they strongly felt was the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission's attempt to steal the vote. Six people were gunned down by persons that the commission failed to establish in its two-month investigation although it gave strong hints the six and dozen more victims may have been shot by soldiers who had been deployed to quash the violent protests. The MDC and its civil society allies have since dismissed the report for a number of reasons, chief among them its failure to pin the killings on the army. At a press briefing in Harare on Wednesday, Mafume said ZANU-PF was notorious for altering documents in its favor, citing then Justice Minister Patrick Chinamasa's controversial decision to add two paragraphs to the legendary global political agreement that led to the formation of a loose ruling coalition between the rival parties 2009 to 2013. One of the person who is being investigated was made to announce the report. One wonders whether the report was doctored, one wonders whether there were any additions, and we had this experience during uh, the negotiations for the government of national unit, when uh, Patrick Chinamasa tried to add two paragraphs to a document that parties had appended their signatures to. How do you release a report and read it when you were primarily the target of the investigation? It is like an accused in a court of law reading his own judgment and then swearing to uphold his own sentencing and say that I will uphold the sentencing that I have received from this particular uh, judge. It is a matter of hygiene that the commission should have read its own report so that we will then be sure of its authenticity and as verify that everything that is in it has not been doctored. Up to this point, we are not sure until the commission itself verifies that the report that was read and that has been released is indeed the report that it came up with. The findings of the report have been met with uproar from some mainstream civic groups that have accused the seven-member prop team of attempts to play cover-up to state excesses under the ZANU-PF regime. In a statement, Crisis in Zimbabwe Coalition said on Wednesday that the outcome of the report confirmed their long-held view that the Moshlante Commission was compromised. The NGO felt the report will further entrench hostilities between the two rival parties as well as inflict more pain among victims of the shootings. Exiled former cabinet minister Jonathan Moyo said through Twitter that the report was the worst ever published by a commission of inquiry since 1980. However, ZANU-PF and its apologists have maintained deafening silence over the report. Reporting for NewsZimbabwe.com, I am Makanaka Masenyama. For this and more stories, do visit our website www.newszimbabwe.com and our YouTube channel, NewsZimbabwe.com.